I'm gonna do the announcer voice, so I apologize. Uh, hello, everybody. This is the We Are Not Lonely podcast, and I'm just here by myself. And um, because our friend, um, I'm, I'm just gonna call him R, because he has like some issues with his name, and I don't really know why. So I'm just gonna call him R. Let's just call him R from now, right? Because he's been saying like, "Oh, he's not the person. That's not my." Okay. Anyway, let's 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 not get into that. Um, so I'm just gonna, let's, let's do a quick, you know, a quick podcast, quick rambling of things. Um, I've been, uh, you know, wanting to speak about this somewhere, but I'm not, I wasn't sure like where. So yesterday, our friend, the, let's just call him the other guy now. Okay. <laughs> so the other guy who is also in the podcast, uh, is not here now, so I can talk shit about him. It's fine. Uh, so the other guy, uh, he mentioned, he asked me to, if I could do one by myself and I've, um, uh, I've promised him that I would do it like, like two months prior, I think, because like he told me that he was going to be busy in this time, like this month. And I was also going to be busy. So I thought like I would redo some episodes to like, you know, release it, but I didn't get the chance to do it, but we're, you know, we're here. So we're here now. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, I'm just gonna quickly speak about like, you know, um, what I normally do, what, what I normally do, you know, uh, if you guys know about me, then you do. But if you don't, I'm Leo. Uh, I make uh, music and art, right? Uh, but that doesn't, pay the bills, you know what I mean? So for me to pay my bills, uh, I do this thing called mixing and mastering. You know, we, we always talk about this, uh, like we joke about it. Like I say stuff like, oh, I'm a sound engineer. I should know, you know? So I'm basically a mixing engineer, right? So I mix songs for a living. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I also love more than, um, I do love mixing, yeah, but more than, uh, more than mixing, I love, love, like, making art. Just making sounds, making melodies, you know, writing songs, you know. Anything that comes creatively, right? And I really love doing that. And I've been, I don't know, I've been, like, obsessed with this idea of, like, creating this perfect culmination of, like, all arts combined, you know. Like, you know, your your, you know, artwork, like your paintings or, um, not like a physical one, even if it's not a physical one, I mean, so like, um, I would say, um, paintings, uh, uh, music, um, uh, film and audio work, you know, all this together. I want, I'm, I'm like, I'm like obsessed with like making all of that come together. And I see a lot of like, um, filmmakers and like directors try to like achieve that. And and even like people who are in the music industry, who are like well known, they try to achieve that, but they don't really like, they don't really uh, kind of like grasp the concept. I don't think that, I'm not saying like, you know, it's bad, but they just don't do it well, you know? They normally focus on like, say if they're an artist and they make, say they're a rapper, right? They would like focus on their raps, focus on their beats and not much on the story that they're trying to portray. And I've seen that a lot. So I've been trying to like work on this like idea for some time now. And I've been like hella like, like blocked from it. Like I've been having like writer's block, right? Constantly, right? And uh, it's been, it's been a little rough. Uh not you know just just a little bit not not too not too crazy i don't think it's just 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 a tad bit right <laughs> uh so i'm i'm here to speak about um you know how it happened and how i'm like getting out of it so <clears throat> basically uh last year i've been, i've been working on this project uh i'm i'm, I'm not going to say much cuz i don't want to like promote the shit over here cuz i want to separate these two like the podcast and the thing, but I, I just want to like speak about it, you know? Uh, so last year I contacted our friend, let's call him Mr. Ra uh, I mean, Mr. R, sorry, Mr. R. <laughs> so I called him Mr. R cause you know, he, he does art and um, I was asking him to like make uh design, uh, like kind of like a 
headgear slash like shoulder gear uh, for me to make. And I've been working on this like project ever since. And it, this project has like evolved into like something that I think it's very uh, inspiring. And for for like me perfecting this um, this project has led me to be in a very bad place not bad like physically but like mentally you know what i mean so um it's been it's been a little rough because of that right and uh, i've i've like i've like try to stray away from having like writer's block by like creating something every day but for some reason i have not been able to do that as much I, I, I do make some stuff here and there. Like every week I'll make like two or three like songs. But like I'm, I used to make songs like every day, even if it's bad, you know. But now I just don't even want to do that, which is so bizarre to me, you know. And also speaking about inspiration, I, I, like, I like to write about like love and I like to write about like, you know, uh, falling in and falling out of love, you know. Uh, that's an interesting word, falling in and falling out of love. Let me remember that. <laughs> but uh, I I have been uh, trying to uh, find inspiration. And normally how I do that is to like, I just speak to, you know, speak to people I'm attracted to, right? And just recently, last year, this person has, you know, has gone, um, just gone, um, <laughs> okay. This person just got married, right? And I didn't even know about it. I didn't even know she had like a person on the side, or or I was the side piece, whatever, right? So maybe maybe I think it's because of that, but I don't think that was that was part of it. I think you know that was part of it, and I feel like um, the things that I used to do, I don't do it anymore. The 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 habits and the 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 structure that i used to follow making or creating a stuff uh creating like art and you know tunes every day it has fallen to a point where i i don't feel um i don't feel inspired or i don't feel like making any tunes anymore some some days i just i just feel like I just feel like I I'm not like like good enough, you know what I mean? And which is that is kind of like bizarre to me cuz like that used to happen but it never used to happen to a point where I I had I had to be like, "Oh, this is like this is getting like to a point where I don't want to do this shit anymore." You know what I mean? So I I've been having that feeling for the past since since March, I would say, right? since March and <clears throat> it's been, it's been a while, right? Right. And there are some, a very few artists in the music industry that, um, helps inspire me. Right. And to be fair, part of it is, uh, is my fault because like I, the album that I'm working on is, is basically like about the person being down and, and person being in a place uh and meeting all this other characters who's also in the same place something uh, something of that sort so i didn't really want to be like inspired and that was my own fault and because of that i've fallen into that place myself <laughs> which is just bad and i i think that that this thing that i'm about to say was was very important to me right it was very important to me so going to this point is, so the point is, is basically K-pop, right? And I've been, I've been a fan of K-pop since, since the fifth standard, right? Since the fifth standard, uh, I'm in my late twenties now, so you can, you can do the math. It's been, it's been a long time, right? So I've been like, even before, like, I don't want to be sound like that guy, but even before, like it was like popular like how even before like the popularity that is exploded right now um i was really into it because like that that was the only type of uh mu mu music that i was uh that i could like somehow like relate to and 
you know, like when, uh, okay, I'm not going to go to, to that side. Uh, I'm not going to go there, but there was some, something that I could like really like look and like relate to and be inspired by. Right. So there's this group. There are like a bunch of group that like got me into K-pop, but there's this particular group in 2016 that was like, that was like my worst, I would say like my worst time of like, uh, 2016 was like basically like my worst, worst, um, worst year, right? Cause like, I, I like, like broken up and I had like dengue while I was in the process of like what I was grieving because of the breakup. I, I had like dengue and shit. So it's like, it was like the most probably one of the worst year till date yeah 2016 i've never experienced like something like that till date yeah but you know i'm i'm hopeful <laughs> uh, i i you know uh but yeah so uh in 2016 uh, this group this group had like just debuted like they just come out right they, they were pretty new and they were a very, they were a very inspired, like, group. Like, in my opinion, at least, right? So, in, if just a, a little bit about K-pop, like, in K-pop, all this, like, idols, you, you know, they, they, they're, they like, different kind of idols. You, you see, like, BTS, you see, like, what, Blackpink, um, uh, you see, like, uh, EXO, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna name, like, you know, the newer, like, generation, right? There's, like, uh, the newer ones, like, um, Twice, I think Twice is pretty new. Uh, Red Velvet, um, all, all this, right? So they're like, I don't know the newer ones that has that has come out, but like this group, all the group that I mentioned, they're either a boy group or a girl group, right? It's either all boys or all girls, right? And back back in the days, like the some groups were like not like that, right? They're pretty much like mixed, right? Mixed group. But this group that came out in 2016 right they were a co-ed group that, that means like they were they were a mixed group basically there were two two guys and two girls right and they were called card right k-a-r-d card with a k right and sorry um they were very inspired and they they came out with this like um like tropical sounding track like this uh uh like Mumbaton, I think, like the the genre was, and it's like, it was very different, right? It was very different, and it was like, it was so like inspiring to me when I first heard them, right, in 2016, and I was like, damn, they came out with this song called like Oh Nana, and it was it was so like inspirational to me that I made like a bunch of songs when that happened. Right. And, and 2016 was like the time when I, when I was like, like starting to create and write my own shit. I used to like make stuff like, like, you know, back in like 2014, 2015, but like, I didn't really like make like any substantial shit. Right. And 2016 was like the point where, you know, I was also in inspired by the breakup and shit. Right. And, and when, when card like came out, right in 2016 they debut right they were like they were a new group right and i was very inspired i was like damn this shit is like kind of crazy right and i think like it was 2017 they came out with this song um i think rumor and like don't recall and they are like really really like same genre right same genre they were really really like inspiration to like when i heard like you know like uh, they say like music is very like powerful right it's like like I like that sentence, right? I understood that, right? I I mean, like there were there are don't get me wrong, like there are a lot of artists that inspires me, like namely like Green Day, like John Bellion, um, Sum Forty One, Blink One, Eighty Two, like all this, like I I was heavily inspired by pop punk, heavily inspired by heavy metal, right? Like back when like all those bands were like coming up, right? But like when I heard card right for the first time and they were they do majority of like pop and like sometimes hip-hop and sometimes uh this like tropical like like reggaeton or like mombaton like like genre right and it was so different like i'm i'm like used to like the, that genre of of mu music but when they came out it was so different right 
that I'm like, damn, bro, this shit is like crazy. And I was so like inspired by it that I made so many tracks, right? So many tracks. I have a song called um, uh, Off the Nines. Uh, that was, that song was inspired by Card, basically, right? And it was like, it was like summer. It was like, you know, like intense. And I just like, I just kept like playing their like, you know, albums, their mini albums, like back to back. And yeah, so, 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 so that was like one of the inspiration, right? That like helped me, you know, create and help me like, help me like, uh, make art, right? Make good, good art, I would say, right? Um, but this past few months, right? I have not been able to do that. And it's, 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 it was, it's like crazy. It's like so crazy because like, okay. <laughs> there is like a very limited amount of music that I'm inspired to nowadays. Cause like when I go to Spotify and like hear any of the playlists they make it. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to be that guy, but like, I don't want to be that person, but the songs that are on there are just the same it just sounds the same even even the the new playlist that they put out like the pop punk it just it just has like even if it's like not the same melody the vibe is is the same it just it just doesn't it just i just don't get like inspired by those sounds you know what i mean and that that is also one of the reason that i like k-pop because they they like experiment with shit a lot of shit right and I really appreciate that. And like Korean music in general, the scene in ge like general, if you if you check some of the indie stuff, if you check like uh, oh, oh, oh Hyuk, I think. Oh Hyuk, O-H-H-Y-U-K, I think. Uh, I'm not sure about the spelling, but if you check like bands like that, like indie bands, they're like doing some like crazy shit. You know what I mean? So like they're always like experimenting, always trying to do some new, new, new shit. Uh, you can check out like stuff uh, by like Lion Clad, uh, she's like a beat maker. Um, I forgot this uh, this other person. She's she's incredible. But I forgot. I forgot. Uh, it'll come. It'll come to me. But yeah. So they're always like experimenting. So I'm like always trying to find something which is crazy. One of the things that I uh, that I'm that I really like is uh, is hyper pop. It used to be called like PC music. I think it's personal computer music whatever but now it's like hyper pop and that's one of the genre i'm excited about because it's like whenever i hear a good hyper pop production and a, any not any because some of them try to like copies from you know but it's pretty interesting okay so coming back to the thing few months writer's block everything is blocked out right so i've been uh i'm taking breaks and shit i've been you know i've been trying to work on like other people's project just to like get some like like mula on the side but i haven't been working on anything for myself which which i was like kind of like feeling bad about you know and uh just in june this month june 22nd card the group that i was talking about they came out they came out with a mini album right and okay before I before I say this, uh, it previously their previous uh, songs they've been like uh, swaying away from their the roots that like how they began. They've been doing a lot of pop. They've been doing a lot of like uh, hip hop, and they've been trying to like experiment with like sounds and stuff. Um, but this one, this new album that they came out is, it's just there. It's called like wait, let me let me check. Let me check the, it's called re, right? It, I think it, it's short for like reimagine or whatever. And, uh, so they basically went back to, to their roots and I was heavily, heavily inspired by that. And I'm, I'm like so happy that it happened. Uh, I've been like playing, uh, this song called like ring the alarm. I've been playing that shit like constantly for like, just like on repeat and I've like not been sick of that. So the last song that did to me was this song called Rumor by Card. And I've been, I, I used to like, I used to travel a lot back in the days and 
and I used to just play that song over and over and over and over again and never get like sick of it. There's like a certain like release in that song and this new song Ring the Alarm like ha ha like has that and it's it's so like it's so it's not anything new which is crazy to me. It's not anything new. Uh the sound is more like polished, but it's like the way they like deliver the way the way they like merge their voices, it's I like I wish sometimes I wish I'm in like a mixed group, you know? Cuz we could like fuck around with the voice cuz everybody has like different voices, right? Like we could, like I could do so much with that, but <laughs> I'm like, you know, solo like, you know, solo creator here. Solo dude maker <laughs> so yeah i just have to use my own voice and kind of like fuck around like fuck with my own voice just to make things a little different so yeah sometimes i wish like i, I had like a group like that you know what i mean so it's like that song just like inspired me to start making like you know all this like catchy stuff because i used to write a lot of like um catchy you know like choruses right i think like uh, most of my uh, like songs right i try to write the hook right i try to write the hook as catchy as po like possible i want people to like remember the song right like even though they don't remember the verse i just want them to remember the hook right i remember like telling this to one of my friends back in the day uh, we used to do like we used to make stuff together uh, i used to tell him like i want to be like a crazy ass like hook writer like chorus right right writer you know i was also back then i was also heavily inspired by skylar uh, skylar gray is that her name wait yeah skylar gray like she is like an amazing writer in general so i was like heavily inspired by her as well so yeah so i try to write my hook like as catchy as possible and when they came back, right, when Card came back with their mini album in June 22nd, this month, 2022, I was heavily inspired, man. And it's, it's so crazy. The only thing is, the only thing is, I need, I need an inspiration, inspiration for me to like, write about someone. Because right now I don't have anybody to write about. I can just write about myself, which is a little, little tough for me. Uh, I have like written a few songs about myself, but I feel like it's it's too like it's too real <laughs> when I do that. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. So uh yeah, so I don't I also don't know how to uh how to speak speak to speak to girls cuz I cuz I I genuinely I genuinely think uh I genuinely think like like girls like hate me so i just like or people in general so i just don't really like bother doing that so wait hold on how to talk to um how to talk to a girl you like get comfortable Develop your interests. You don't need to be a brain to find things to talk about, but you need to have passion and interest. Bro, what the hell is... Wait, it... it... What? Anyway, uh... Practice saying things out loud. Bro, that's not gonna work. I stammer when I speak, bitch. What is this? Talk to girls. Bro. <laughs> that's... That's what I'm here for. What do you mean? Talk to girls. I'm here... Alright. Whatever. Yeah, so... I'm I'm just like this episode doesn't I don't really know why I did this but I hopefully hopefully it helps uh people like understand that you know it's cuz like okay when something bad is happening to you you feel like you feel like it's happening only to you because it's happening to you right and I think that makes sense because like if you're not talking to anyone or if you're not like sharing stuff with anyone like someone like me because i don't really like share all that much with my friend i do but like not as much uh but sometimes you don't really see it you know you don't really see that you know people are also like going through the the same thing 
not the the same thing, but people are going through shit as well. You know what I mean? It, all I'm trying to say is, you know, you're, you're not alone, you know? So, yeah, I guess it's just to like reassure, kind of like reassure that, you know, you're not alone type deal. All right. So the last point that I want to point out is how to not get like writer's block or like, you know, any block you have in anything you do. But this is, I, I guess, I don't want to give like advice for something that I don't know. So I'm just going to say things about like creative side. So when you're having block, when you're a creative and you're having a block, here's what I normally do. Uh, it works for me, but um, hopefully it works for you. Uh, so basically what I do is uh, say I am making music every day, right? And, and I'm having a block, right? What I do is I do something else. So what I'll norm normally do is I'll like edit a video, right? I'll edit, I'll do something. I will, I'll try to like learn, learn new ways to edit a video. Cause I do that for like my Instagram reels and stuff and how to like, um, like grade the video, like the, the colors and everything, how to get everything right. Just trying to learn something, just basically trying to get out of the headspace that you were in whilst you're having the block so basically yeah that's that's what i normally do and also also creating creating shit that you don't like also helps just like making just dog shit stuff <laughs> just just to like get it out of you that also helps uh but yeah for for me this time to be fair you know i i shouldn't be giving advice but i'm just telling you things that i that it worked works for me this time it clearly didn't because i didn't feel like doing shit right uh i just you know I, i'm just so glad that card had, like, had come back like I've, they've been like releasing teasers and shit right and i've i've just been like so hyped and and i don't like expecting shit but i did expect some crazy shit and i was my expectations were met and i'm really happy about it. i i'm i want to play the songs for you guys but we can't do that you know copyright and shit but yeah, it's, we should check it out. It's, it's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, so like getting out of block, just, just know that if you're having a writer's block or if you're having some like issues or problem, just know that, you know, you're not really like alone because everybody's going through shit, you know, we're all like, we're all like suffering, you know, one way or the other. We're just, we're just all like blobs suffering in this vast universe <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying but yeah um hopefully hopefully if you uh you guys could like relate to some of the things i say if you didn't then uh that's fine too you know just just um thanks for hearing me out i don't really like sharing personal stuff <laughs> but uh i think i think it was like it was it was time for me to like speak about it even if it's for a, a little bit, you know, so, so yeah, uh, not a long episode because I don't really uh, like going on tangents by myself because if I do, I'm going to go into a huge hole of doom scrolling and I don't want to do that. Um, anyway, um, so I'm going to end the episode there. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you liked it, uh, please do. If you didn't like it, you can uh, dislike as, a, a, as well because we can still see it. Uh, subscribe for new episodes every week, every Friday. Um, yeah. Uh, so I'll see you on the next episode, hopefully with our friend R, the person whose real name should... I don't know why he has issues with his name, man. I don't understand. He's He's been having like a lot of issues lately, but anyway. Uh, we've, we've both been busy. Uh, uh, he's been busy the most. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully, uh, things will get like, uh, settled down and we'll have like a proper, uh, structured stuff. Cause I do want to make uh, this podcast to be more structured as much as I like being spontaneous. I do want to have like some structured segments for the podcast and I do want to uh consult that with our friend with our other friend mr r anyway uh <laughs> yeah cool uh i'll see you next friday okay bye